Hello, greetings, praise God, wana yesu wa sifiwe, mukama yeba zibwe, imana shimwe, mwadhanya rogo shu, yesu wa taiwe. It's me, Felistas Matsiko, my ministry name is Felin Zivo. I'm back again to you uh, for the forum we just started and for the forum I introduced to you by the name Warriors Call. I'm back to speak to you warriors. I'm back to speak to you family warriors. I'm back to pray with you family warriors if you have a cry about your family to change family doesn't have to be even if you are one child doesn't have to be it's only you alone maybe you have cousins you have nuclear family you have extended family family is family meaning whoever is in your lineage Ata kama si blood, even your friends wengine ni family. Actually, lately friends are becoming more family than the real daily biologicals. So, read with me in the book of Joshua. I'll read Joshua, uh, speak a little about it, and then we will enter into prayer for families. Today I'm here on Warriors Call for Families. So, read with me Joshua. Uh, 24 15 Joshua told the children of Israel now therefore fear the Lord serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the God which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt in capital letters all in capitalization he told them serve the lord verse 15 said and if it seemed evil to you to serve the lord choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the amorite in whose land you dwell but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So my viewer, my listener, my friend, I come to you today that we wage war concerning our families. I know you that is viewing me, you are from a family, a certain lineage. So we are going to wage war against all spirits that attack parents spirits that attack firstborns spirits that attack second third fifth even to the twelfth or whatever number you are from where you come from so today warriors i'm calling on you on behalf of our families because lately i was telling one of my friends just the other day all families all marriages are under siege and there needs somebody to arise there needs a warrior to arise like it was during the times of queen esther she arose on behalf of the jews and then there came deborah who arose on behalf of the children of israel so this is how we are going to pray we're going to pray for our parents where there is error we speak order in jesus name because some families right now because of the dem the dynamics of family dynamics they cannot be brought down they you cannot activate divorce in a family whereby um uh, or even separation in families whereby you were not even there when they started so where there is any error, where there is any misunderstanding, where there is any mess, we speak a message of God and the message of God is hope. So pray with me right now, warriors. We pray for families. And before I pray for families, I want to speak also about something that the Spirit of God is putting in me. 
we need to pray with understanding as we pray for parents we also need to pray for firstborns in every family when you read exodus 13 uh, verses 2 there are battles that are for firstborn because they are priests of the family they carry the family mandate firstborns are symbols of the strength of the family firstborns are symbols of excellence in the family First bonds are even, some are weaker vessels because they are carrying everybody. They are carrying the second bond, they are carrying the third, the fifth, and everybody. I believe you understand what I'm saying. And the blessings of first bond is that their portions mostly are double portions. They are the dew of heaven. They are leaders. They command respect. They walk in divine blessings. They live by the salt. If you read very well in Deuteronomy 21 17. So, right now, as we go into prayer, I want you to go into prayer with understanding because lately, as I said earlier, families are under siege. So, I refuse my own family to be under siege when I'm alive. I want to speak to the enemy, the devil who is waging war against family. When I was living in ignorance, devil, you fought my family and I was not aware. Now that I am aware, I refuse, I dismantle, I uproot every strength of the evil over my family. Come on, somebody, help me pray for your own family. I pray for my mother. I pray for my father. I Come on, help me pray. Pray for your own family. We refuse divorce to make a tazile mingangano zinaendelea sababu ya inheritances. In the name of Jesus, tunakata kila nguvu kutoka kuzimu. Zinapiga familia, zinapiga baba, zinapiga mama. Awa wesi kubaliana kwa nyumba. Tunakata katika jina la yesu. Awa Father God, you started marriages. At the Garden of Eden, you saw it was no good for a man to be alone. So you made them a helper. For as we have read in the book of Joshua, we read that there were gods that our forefathers were worshipping. Zile maroho za miungu ya wababu na shusu wetu. Zile miungu za bibi ni mezikata in my family right now. They will not worship the gods of our fathers, the gods of our grandfathers. Some of those gods maybe were Muslim. Some of those gods maybe were Catholics. Some of those gods maybe were Jeshila Wokovus and others. Some of those gods maybe they were even sorcerers and whatever. So I refuse them. In my generation, I refuse them. In the name of Jesus. So as we pray for family today, I'm covering the extended family. I'm covering the nuclear family. I'm covering the first bonds. I'm covering the second bonds the third one, the fourth one, the fifth, to whatever number representing any family member, from the first to the third generation, to the fourth generation, to the fifth generation, to the seventh generation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus, you will stop any scheme of the enemy concerning our families in the name of the Lord Jesus. As Joshua spoke to the children of Israel and he chose to serve you. Father, right now, me and my viewer, me and whoever is watching this broadcast, we stand as warriors in the name of Jesus and we refuse every fight concerning our families in Jesus name we send every missile back to the center in the mighty name of Jesus we are put every powers of evil every powers of alcoholism listen devil these are strategy you are pulling into our families that you may scatter us listen enemy you came to destroy to kill but jesus came to bring life and life in abundance i speak 
speak life in our families in the mighty name of Jesus we say no to every spirit from our forefathers following us every spirit following us because we've been named after them some of us we are struggling because we've been named over our grandparents we've been named of our family lineages wengine walikuwa wakora wengine walikuwa wanapenda binwaji sana so father disconnect us disconnect my viewer disconnect this of friend of mine who is watching in the name of Jesus and as Deborah arose for the sake of the children of Israel and as Uh, Esther arose for the sake of the Jews I arise right now and I speak against every spirit that is waging war against families in the mighty name of Jesus where there is error we speak order in the name of the Lord Jesus we refuse all powers of all gold all powers of idols we refuse them in the name of Jesus and our purpose right now our purpose is to serve the mighty God of heaven my purpose right now in my generation is to serve the living God in the mighty name of Jesus so i speak peace it is well peace it is well even where we have given the enemy an opportunity to sift us we speak peace in the name of Jesus i refuse with my uncles i refuse with my aunties i refuse with my brothers i refuse with my sisters i refuse with my cousins they will not serve other gods as long as i'm alive i silence every spirit I silence every power that entices them and calls them into evil in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm standing on the gap right now on behalf of every family where there is shake up. Father, we speak peace. Your word says your peace you've given unto us, not as the world given. You've given us your peace in abundance. So I speak peace over every family. Maybe they are healing in their bodies. I thank you God because you sent your word and made us whole. I I speak wholeness to a mother somewhere. I speak wholeness to a grandfather somewhere. I speak wholeness to an uncle somewhere. I speak wholeness to an auntie somewhere in the mighty name of Jesus. It's about time we arise warriors and we call out to the God of heaven. His word says we call unto him and he will answer us. He will show us great and unsearchable things that we've never witnessed before. So on behalf of families right now, I stand on the gap and I silence every voice of the accuser in the mighty name of Jesus. On behalf of every family in Kenya, on behalf of every family in East Africa, on behalf of every family in the world, I silence the arm of the accuser in the mighty name of Jesus. In accordance to your word, in Psalm 35, May the angel of God go over anyone who arises against us in the mighty name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu Kristo uwapige na giza kulingana na neno lako njia zao zimo utelezi katika jina la Yesu Kristo malaika wa Bwana akapigane na wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo kulingana na neno la Mungu Zaburi anasema utapigana na wanaopigana nasi utapigana na wanaoteta nasi on behalf of my family somebody help me pray on behalf of your family Mungu wa mbinguni atete na wanaoteta nao Mungu wa mbinguni apigane na wanaopigana na familia yako katika jina la Yesu. Sijui unatoka kwa familia ina gani. Labda ni ya Waislamu kama ya kikwetu, labda ni ya any other foundations. So we dismantle all foundations of evil in the name of Jesus. Every family out 
waters that have been built in our knowledge and out of our knowledge we dismantle those altars and we raise altars of the most high god on behalf of our families in the name of jesus on behalf of our first bonds, on behalf of the second bonds, the third bonds, the third bonds, the fourth bonds, the fifth, the sixth, to the seventh, even to the twelfth in other families, in accordance to the numbers of the biblical order, in the name of Jesus, we speak it as well. It is well now and forevermore. They that are ailing, they that are having disagreements, we speak peace. In the name of Jesus, where there is a necessary fight, Lord, bring order in the mighty name of Jesus. Settle every case that concerns our families. In Jesus' mighty name, we refuse the arm of the accuser. In Jesus' mighty name, it is well. It is well. It is well in Jesus' name. It is well in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well. We speak order. We speak divine alignment in the name of Jesus. Alignment into goldiness in the name of Jesus. Familia yangu itachekwa katika jina la Yesu. Kata familia yako itchekelewe katika jina la Yesu. Because as I started, I said, all oh, families are under siege. Familia yangu itachekwa. Familia ya my cousins itachekwa. When I'm alive, in the name of Jesus, familia ya dugu zangu, awata chekelewa katika jina la Yesu Christo. I silence every wind. I silence everything that arises to dismantle the order that God has brought in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well. It is well. Sita nyamaza maozi ya kitendeka. Sita nyamaza maozi ya kitendeka. On my family, sita nyamaza. Kwa familia yako inuka with only anger. Usinyamaze maovu ya kiendelea. Usinyamaze dugu wakimpiga dugu. Usinyamaze dada wakiteteshada na kupelekana kwa lawyers. Usinyamaze mimi nimekata on behalf of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Atuta pigana unnecessarily. Atuta pelekana kwa maatonis na maloyazo wa kule ile pesa. Tunafanya kazi kwa bidina jasho yetu. And then tunalau shetani ya ingilie. Makazins wanapigana. Brothers wanapigana. Mbaka wanagawenye pesa wakipeleka. Uko na wakipeleka kuingine. Mimi nakata katika jina la yesu. On behalf of the family dynamics. Because my God started the dynamics of families. So I refuse every scheme of the enemy. Ata kama umeundiwa wapi ni naikata katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na ni nainua madhabau ya mungu wa liye hai. Nainua madhabau ya mungu wa ishie. Nainua madhabau ya mungu wa baba yetu Abrahama. Nainua madhabau ya mungu wetu wa Isaka na Jacob. Nainua madhabau ya mungu wa Joshua. Katika jina la Yesu, nimekata upuzi wote kutoka kuzimu. Upuzi unao pigwa, upuzi unao pigwa huko, unalete wauta watoto wachanga. They are starting to identify with the LGTBs. Ninakata katika jina la Yesu. Watoto wetu wa wata abudu miungu mingine. Familia yangu ita abudu miungu mingine. Katika jina la Yesu. Mungu wa lie hai, mungu wa samsoni, mungu wa binguni ataabudiwa. Katika jina la Yesu Christo, I speak peace. Amani yako baba, amani yako. Amani yako. Kwa wenye atujai hata kutana, lakini bado sisi ni familia, tunabebana sababu ya chuki ya baba na mama zetu. Tunabebanda sababu ya chuki ya dada na dugu mwingine. Nimekata katika jina la Yesu. And I speak love. Jesus you said we love one another. So I decree in families in Kenya. I decree in families in the East Africa. There will be love in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Saka diga de bo sati da 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 bo sada yande bo saka taka da bo rose de 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 bo si yika di bili si kide da da bo sanda kaze kete bo sata vibria gende za de kasa teke bo radari de bo za shani ni ni keda yante la bo sata kabo we decree and declare there is order God of order bring order. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall I break a devotion? Ah, re-break a da de de sa titi ka so koto sa na na ah, yam de bo sa ta ta ka bo sa. Shall I bo ka ta ta da bo si ka? Father, we love you. We thank you for your bringing restoration. In the name of Jesus, be thou exalted. Be thou magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with our family. It is well with your family. Speak positivity. Don't be a pessimist. Don't be a pessimist. Speak. 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 Speak it, prophesy about it. Speak life where there is no life. Speak order where there is no order. Speak divine alignment in the mighty name of Jesus. Shalom, shalom. God bless you again. I'll come back to you with another episode of Warriors Call. We are still calling. And we will not be silenced. Personally, I refuse to be silenced. Not now. When I was living in ignorance, maybe the devil had it because I was living in ignorance. And the Bible says this. During the times of ignorance, God overlooked. But now, so I want to declare to you, my viewer, come, join me. I'm not living in ignorance anymore. I refuse. I refuse to be identified with any sort of ignorance. Ignorance is not my portion. I'll read books. I'll study online books. I'll buy books on Amazon. I'll study. I'll study, study, study and run away from ignorance of all kind of sort. So blessings. I love you. Let's meet for another episode of Warriors Call. Shalom. Warriors.